Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on November 9th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Starting out here, always looking at the last two days of imagery on our sun. No major solar flares since the last update. It's been hanging out in the sea range. And that plasma filament, bottom left-hand side, is still hanging out on the surface of our sun. Looking at the last two days incoming, that is a very large plasma filament, and I'm surprised it has not let loose yet. Pretty active and fiery sunspot region coming in that did produce the multiple M-class solar flares a couple days ago. Looking at outgoing here. Minor C-class solar flares. No major coronal mass ejections to speak of. Pointing out here the last 48 hours of events, active sunspot regions. And as well, that huge plasma filament, bottom left-hand side. Amazing images here brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory, mixed with daily events worldwide. Thank you so much for pressing play tonight. Hope you enjoy the show. Have a look at multi-spectrum, where we do have those three coronal holes that are Earth-facing right now. And we've got eight sunspot regions that are Earth-facing. Watch that plasma loop that is about to flip out. Stay tuned to Daily Events Worldwide. Another look at our sun here at the active seven sunspot regions, not eight. There are seven sunspots that are Earth facing right now. The most recent active one was directly Earth facing with minor C class solar flares 3886. Have a look at these sunspot regions in motion. Active sunspot groupings, Earth facing now. And we did have that outgoing large sunspot region in the north. Look at that sun in fluid motion. Amazing. Current space weather conditions we are under G1. So level one minor geomagnetic storm impacts and that it started throughout the day today solar winds are coming in at 398 kilometers per second solar x-ray flux hanging out in the strong sea range after what five m-class solar flares from two days ago solar proton flux is low geomagnetic activity hopping up to a kp5 today level one having a look at a space weather prediction center here showing the space weather spiral and predictions for the next solar storm. And pretty much tonight is the night, uh, unless we have a couple more CMEs take off from our sun tonight. Stay tuned. It's WA Space Prediction Spiral showing an outgoing CME towards Mercury. And here's a look at tonight and tomorrow's Aurora forecast. Better viewing tonight than tomorrow. Have a look here at our solar winds. Speed versus pressure. If you're understanding what you're looking at here, this is our magnetosphere, folks. Solar winds smashing into Earth. Right side showing all the pressure that our planet is under. And that's a lot of pressure, folks. Stay tuned. Last go three, I wanted to share here with you all of the stitched events from November 1st and forward as there's been a lot of timestamps missing and some imagery missing here. You can see it as it does jog in and out of view. Solar cycle 25 has been pretty busy already. Surpassing predicted sunspot numbers. Surpassing predicted flare events. I want to thank all of the new followers to this channel, Daily Events Worldwide, keeping humanity aware and prepared. Much love, everybody, and welcome to the family. 
Now let's get to earthquakes the last 24 hours as we're getting up there now. Over 200 earthquakes in the past 24 hours, 230 to be exact, according to USGS. Largest being the 6.2 that occurred yesterday in Cochrane, Chile. And that is a pretty rare region for an earthquake. The San Fernandez Plate into the Nazca Plate towards Easter Island. As well, notable earthquakes today in Panama, Barica, Panama, 5.6 and a 5.8. Very strong shakers for the Cocos Plate. Puerto Rico rocking a 4.7. So, wow, the Central American plate is very active right now. 4.7 there, Rick Jane's Ridge, south of Iceland. No notable earthquake swarms across the North American plate, but notable earthquakes here. 4.9, Dawson City, Canada. Across the Aleutian Islands. And into Japan, the Volcano Lions region. Things are still echoing off through the Marianas Trench after some deep earthquakes last week. Some deep earthquakes over the last couple days too. Deepest being a 536 kilometer depth, Fiji. As well, Kermadec Islands seeing minor seismicity. Definitely seeing an uptick over the past 24 hours, my friends. So heads up, 4.7 here, Turkey. And as well, a 4.7 Russia, or sorry, 4.2 Russia, 4.0 magnitude here. Italy, very close to Pompeii, too close to Campi Flagri. Have a look here at the last seven days for shakers and movers across the world. Take a quick moment to again thank everybody for watching and thank you for your patience and loyalty as I cannot upload every day, but I do my best here. Releasing short videos. If you're interested in more short videos, get in the comments section and let me know what you would like to see. If there's anything that you'd like to know or you'd like me to focus on, please let me know in the comments section. Now let's have a look at our sulfur dioxide forecast brought to you by active and erupting volcanoes. A couple big explosion eruptions at Popopketitol and as well, lots of SO2 coming out of eastern Russia, Kamchatka. As there's, what, eight volcanoes through that region that are active and erupting out of the 66 volcanoes across the planet. Very big plume here still coming out of Luatobi after yet another eruption at that volcano. And overlooking Europe, Africa, things seem to be calming down through the central Congo region. And big plumes coming out of Mount Etna as she has been sustaining Puff Puff Pass all week long. Now let's have a look at world weather as we've got, of course, Tropical Storm Raphael churning through the Gulf right now. Eventually will scoot northward. Low pressure system dropped about 20 centimeters of snow through Colorado. Watch for these big systems to affect North America this week. Long range forecast by the 15th. You're going to see... Snow straight across the nation and some very big snowstorms. Look at the size of this low over Alaska. And a lot of snow associated with that as cold temperatures are starting to funnel around our northern polar vortex. Overlooking Europe, you've got some strong systems heading into Iceland, churning through the North Atlantic. But watch for that to change quickly by the 13th into the 14th as they start to penetrate northern Europe. Waves upon waves of moisture and strong winds and a hell of a lot of snow. This is a very large winter storm brewing across parts of Western Russia and Europe. Overlooking Australia, Africa and Southeast Asia. A couple typhoons still forecast for the Philippines and into Thailand this week. Monday into Wednesday for the Philippines. Tropical cyclone churning through the mid-Indian Ocean. And then some major systems affecting New Zealand and parts of eastern Australia for the long range. Thanks everybody for watching today. I hope you enjoyed the show. If you did, smack that like. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due.